Hello there, welcome back to building your own quad drone on the kitchen table. Um, I'm Simon, this is Tom. Hello. And uh, here we go, uh, just as our tradition obviously is to have a little little drink with ours, but it's it's a father and son build, so we're going to be healthy. This is some Sanguinello blood orange juice, so uh, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Ah, over there, Tom. Right, so today what we're going to do is start looking... Um, at one of the key components which is the flight controller and as you see we've gone for a, a NASA V2 and for those of you who, like us who've come from the ready to fly phantom kind of world this is all generally buried away inside uh, and we don't really kind of see it or appreciate what goes into it so I thought I'd show you what uh, a sort of standalone NASA comes out at so Tom if you could just remove the lid of the box please put that to one side thank you very much so the first thing that you see is um, GPS. Let's get that back out. Um, now, obviously, in the in in the Phantoms, this is all in the under the under the hood, and it, it the compass is built into the the leg. So, what you've got in the if you've got a standalone as of course you need a GPS receiver. Let's open this up and have a look. Oh, these are very well sealed. So here is the GPS and compass combined in one unit, which you have mount and, and included in it is a little a mounting pole, a couple of stands, some stickies to put on it. That's everything you need to go basically to mount this on the top of your, your rotor. And there is the socket. So that's obviously pretty important. So that comes as part of the package. And obviously you have the um, the flight controller itself. You see the size on that. You can put that over on the green map, please, Tom. But then there's a lot of other stuff. I was thinking that was it really, but uh, what's all this? And obviously we've got all the leads that we need to plug into the controller to go to the speed controllers and the various other bits and pieces in there. So that's kind of a Something I'd forgotten, but it's a given. And then we've got some other interesting little things that are all included in here. Let's have a look. So you think, well, what's this? Let's have a... Come on out, come on out. A PMU, which is, I believe, power management unit and as you can see you've got power in GPS in something there EXP and voltage out mmm something for us to look at but again all this of course in the phantom world is, is baked in to the to the board we don't see it so that's and then just when you think well that's everything isn't it surely there's something else to look at in here which again, I'd kind of forgotten about coming from Phantom World. It is, if you can get that to focus, the remote LED. Because of course, we need it to blink at us and tell us when we haven't got a signal lock and everything else. And that is a little unit there. Again, more plugs, which we need to sort of attach somewhere where we could see things. Tom, over to you if you put that next to the main NASA please and then finally which confused me somewhat uh, was the USB cable and I was thinking well what do you need USB cable for? but of course we do need to plug it in to the LED unit here because this will enable you to program up the NASA and do things like change the gains and update the firmware and so on and so forth so all of this stuff that's baked into a Phantom and just has a USB port on the outside and all of that hidden, it's amazing when you see the components that are all sort of built into the board on a ready to fly. We have to then put these into ours. So we're going to read up on the um, that. Uh, there's some web uh, videos on the DJI website about how to actually uh, inst link everything together properly. Um, but then one of the things we need to do is work out where we're going to stick it on our quad um, and the best method to do that because that's left down to you. So I hope that was interesting for those of you who've not um, 
who've not like us really who haven't uh, haven't seen the sort of a the the, the bare components and uh, we look forward to fitting that to our 450 in due course so from tom and i we'll um we'll see you again soon bye bye <laughs>